Hey guys, what's going on? So today I got another comic book review, but as always, I want to start this video with a recommendation. And today's recommendation is Aliens vs. Predator. Um, if you can get this on your, I think it's on 360. I have it on my PS3. Um, they do have a collection of Aliens vs. Predator on the PC. I highly recommend you guys get that. But if you only have a PS3, this is the game to get. Three separate storylines, Marines, Aliens, and Predator, uh, all mixed in into one. Each storyline is great. Uh, I really have fun playing as a Predator. Get to play with all his gadgets. Uh, if you want to be stealthy, you can be the Aliens. Or if you just want to gun down shit, Marines, baby. Gotta go with the Marines. But uh, yeah, I would really love this game. Rebellion kick ass. And I'm so disappointed that they did not make uh, Aliens vs. Predator 2. Uh, yeah, so that's my recommendation of the day. <clears throat> mm. So, today's comic is very cool. Uh, I love this series. It's coming to an end. Only four more issues left, and I'm kind of bummed because I really got attached to this book. And it is Invincible, Invincible, Volume 1, Family Matters. Uh, yeah, great book by Robert Kirkman. Uh, who did the art again? Who did the art? It says Walker, but I, I don't want to say Walker. I want to say his full name here. Corey Walker. Corey Walker did the art. Now, uh, the art does change. I think Corey Walker only does the first two volumes. And then, um, someone else takes over. I can't remember his name right now, but someone takes over. But it's a great first issue. It's like, um like a Superman kind of type thing. If Superman had a kid, and if Superman was a dick. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, without me mumbling and bubbling, uh, let's just get into it and uh, I'll set up and we'll flip through it, see uh, how it is. All right guys, see you in a second. Yeah. So this is kind of a, um, this is jumping into the future quite a bit uh, for Mark. You see him in his invincible costume there, and he's holding some dude with a bomb, organic bomb on his chest. You don't know who he is, but he kind of tosses him because he runs out of time and blows up. And it goes, and it jumps back in time to four months ago where Mark is basically just sitting on the toilet reading his comic book. His mom's busting his, his balls, saying he's going to be late for school. He's going, yeah, yeah, yeah. What a way to open up a comic book of a superhero here. Sitting on the toilet reading a book while your mom's busting your balls. Good thing you're not jacking off. Swear to God. So he comes downstairs, gets breakfast, and he sees his dad on TV um, fighting some sort of dragon monster. And his dad's called Omni-Man, which is pretty funny. And he's part of um, a superhero group like the Justice League. And uh, Mark's just watching and going, yeah, yeah, there he is. That's cool. You know, his dad does this all the time. And he's at school and his, uh, his best friend there, William, uh, kind, of, kind of blows him off, kind of goes, I got to get to work. I got to go, I got to go. So he works at this burger place. Now, Mark doesn't have powers at this point, but then he chucks his huge bag of garbage into the air and he's excited as hell he is. It's about time. About fucking time I got my powers. So uh, they're having dinner. Dad swoops in and uh, he was saying there was a flood in Egypt and blah blah blah. And then they're going through some family stuff and uh, Mark just drops the bomb to his parents. He's like, you know what? I'm getting my superpowers now. And the mom's going, oh, that's nice. Can you pass the potatoes? <laughs> Like it's an everyday thing for them, so uh, so Mark's on the ledge of his uh, of his room and he kind of jumps off because he wants to know if he can fly yet. And yeah, he can fly. <clears throat> and there's some and people are robbing banks here. Forget his name. Looking for a name. Can I find a name? It's just a dude that can basically he has enhanced strength and he can turn himself into a rock. And Mark comes out of nowhere and uh, with his really crappy costume and just beats the crap out of him. 
his dad's going, uh, nice job, uh, what the hell are you wearing? And he goes, uh, uh, my costume? And his dad goes, I know a guy, let's go. So, uh, they go see this, see this guy that makes superhero human costumes. He works at a, like, clothing factory, but on the down low he makes, uh, these uniforms. So, Mark's going, ah, I don't really dig this one, can you make something else? And the guy goes, yeah, just tell me what you like, and, well, draw, draw me a sketch or, or stuff and I'll get you a costume. And then Mark's dealing with some bully, but he doesn't know, uh, his own strength yet, so he kind of gets in trouble. <laughs> so, basically, it, it, it is an origin story, it's, you know, it's pretty pretty by the books you, you know how how it's gonna go and there he is with his brand new costume invincible now this is his dad telling him the story of his origin um, how he is a vault of Voldemite I think that's how you say their name uh, Voltrum Voltrum I don't know he says that they're a peaceful planet and um, all they were doing is going to different planets, teaching them how to do stuff. They're they're very peaceful, kind people. And then, uh, you know, they would send scouts to different planets and see what they were like. And um, when Mark's dad came to Earth, um, he started saving people and doing heroic things. And he started to fall in love with the planet. And then he met Mark's mom and just kind of stayed on Earth. And then they had uh, Mark, and this is him telling the younger Mark that uh, one day you'll have uh, super strength, super speed, flight, the whole bit. All the pliers I have, Mark, do you understand? And Mark's going, I'll be able to fly? <laughs> That's all he cared about the conversation, like, I can fly. So Mark goes out, has some fun, He's enjoying his new powers there. Then we meet the twins. And they're just stealing stuff and Mark kind of just jumps in. Without really knowing what, what's going on and who these people are. And uh, now he meets the, the, the teen superheroes. And they kind of do a team up. Beat the bad guys. Now, Adam Eve, okay, so you got Robot, you got Adam Eve, you got Rex Applode, Duplicate, and I thought there was one, I guess there was just four of them, and they have this little team, and it's like, alright, I'll see you around. Now, Mark goes to, goes to school with Adam Eve, and he kind of recognizes her at school, and they start to talk, and, uh, yeah, they basically... <laughs> They like to go hang out, and they're getting to know each other. Again, they're dealing with the twins. But the, the second story comes up is where uh, kids from his school wake up in different places, and they have these bombs on their chest. And it's basically a terrorist plot. And, uh, yeah. Boom! So the principal's going, you know, beware, everything. More talking, more talking. Mark's had his job. He goes, I quit. And he basically tells his dad, he goes, I want to be a full-time superhero. I don't want to do this job no more. And the dad goes, yeah, okay. You know, you're going to have more responsibilities and whatnot. But if that's what you want to do, he goes, oh yeah, yeah. So they're dealing with that. And then the Martian invasion hits. It's not like Martian like from Mars. More like an alien attack. So Mark and uh, his dad go and try to help the army deal with this new threat. And now with this, what the people is that they age really, really fast in this timeline, because I guess in their world, uh, time is a lot slower. 
so they're they're they get the earth and now they're going oh shit we're just dying we're getting old really really quick so they retreat and the, at the last second they uh i think they grab mark's dad yeah there was another bomb attempt and right where uh uh mark's dad just throws the kid in the air boom no time to save you um out of nowhere the aliens come in, grab his dad, and they just take off. <clears throat> and uh, this is the best part. I don't know what's wrong with his mom, Debbie, but it's just like, yeah, mama, dad's got pulled into a portal by a bunch of aliens. And she goes, well, that's more pork chops for us. <laughs> like, she's not, she's not scared that he won't come back, uh, that he won't die. Or she's just putting on a strong face for him. There's Invincible with Robot. Now at this point, Rexplosion and Adam Eve are together. Mark has a thing for Adam Eve. Do -do -do. Do -do -do. More stuff, more stuff. Okay, so you find out that uh, uh, Mark's teacher, science teacher, is the guy responsible for um, turning kids into bombs uh, because he just thinks kids are jerks. That's the basic for him, you know, doing this. He just hates the kids. So he goes, screw it, this is what I'm going to do. You know, fuck you guys. I'm just going to make bombs out of you guys and just blow everything up. So there's a student that was missing, Derek. And uh, the teacher opens his shirt up and uh shows that he has a bomb and it's gonna blow up uh in 50 seconds because he's just gonna take out invincible anatomy which in, in hindsight it's kind of stupid because they can probably survive that blow blowing up so mark grabs him this is where the beginning of the story uh where you just see some dude and he throws him in the snow and he blows up so he gets back he talks to adam eve he goes yeah everything's over i dealt with it and uh, Mark goes home, and there's his dad. <laughs> and uh, Daddy's going, oh, thank God he's back. So she goes, so, what happened? You're going, well, my teacher's, you know, building organic bombs and kids and uh, making it look like they commit suicide. And then his dad goes, you know, I, I spent the last eight months enslaved on an army uh, uh, alien planet, which is, like, time passes so slow. It's only a week here, but it's, like, months there. And, uh, yeah, and she goes, oh, that's nice. Who's ready for dessert? <laughs> what a way to end a book. And then you got some, uh, unused covers. You got some nice bonus stuff in the back. I like, I like the bonus stuff. Got some ultimate, uh, alternate, uh, costumes ideas for Mark. Yeah, for the price, it's not bad. Get a little extras. But that's it. That's uh, volume one of uh, Invincible. I highly recommend you guys read this. The whole series is only going to be 144 issues long. So, yeah, it's a great read. I'm almost done. It'll probably end up end in January of 2018, which is kind of sad, but you know, everything, all good things come to an end. But that, but speaking of that, it's the end of this video. So, uh, know you what you guys should do leave me a comment if you have read this book or if you guys are going to read it uh throw me subscribe and if you like it throw me a like throw me a little thumbs up if you don't if you want to throw me a thumbs down that's fine too i'm cool with that too <laughs> but anyway guys that's it for today's video and as always i love you and i will talk to you later all right bye